Hey everybody, Bentley here again to tell you some more of our story, Delete Derek. Today's part is called The Secret Password. The lunchroom was crowded and loud, but Danielle and Megan grabbed their milk and found two seats together. What did you bring for lunch, Megan almost shouted. Danielle opened her lunch bag, then her mouth fell open almost as big. Bam! She slammed her fist onto the table. You don't like your lunch, Megan asked in a sudden quiet. Danielle didn't answer. She just turned her bag upside down and dumped it out. A sandwich, an apple, and a cookie fell out, along with a pile of wood shavings. It was all covered with a gray dust. What is it? Megan asked. Someone emptied a pencil sharpener into my lunch bag, Danielle said, and I can guess who did it. She glanced around the room, but Derek was nowhere in sight. He must have done it while our group was reading. I wish I could delete Derek like a bad computer file. Then he would be gone, zapped, wiped out. Well, at least your sandwich and cookie were in plastic bags, Megan said as she brushed the dust off Danielle's food. What is he mad at you for? Danielle sighed. Nothing, really. When I went up to Mrs. Randall's desk during math, he was getting help because he doesn't understand division. He got a zero on that paper. Megan gasped. A zero? Are you sure? Derek has to keep good grades or he can't be on the soccer team. Suddenly, she stopped. How do you know about his grade and problems in math? Oh, I read it on his paper, Danielle said with a shrug. Don't look at me that way. I wasn't snooping. I'm just used to reading things upside down or backward. Megan blinked. How did you ever learn to do that? It's my grandpa's fault, really, Danielle explained. He likes to sit at the table and read the newspaper before anyone else. One day, when I was eating a bowl of cereal across from him, I said I wanted to see the funny pages. And he said, well, you'll have to learn to read upside down or just wait. So, you learned to read upside down? Danielle shrugged. Mostly, I did it to prove that I could, but now I read things whenever I see them that way. I wasn't trying to find out about Derek and his paper. It was just there. I know he that knows that I read it. He must have thought I was bragging when I asked for tomorrow's assignment, Megan agreed. Or he thought you were making fun of him. What are you going to do? Danielle pushed a pile of wood shavings around with her finger. I don't know. Declare war, I guess. I can't just go up to him and say, I'm sorry, I'm better than you in math. Later, Danielle hopped off her school bus and headed up to her apartment stairway. Why do we have to live on the third floor, she moaned out loud. The apartment door opened before she got there. How was school, her grandfather asked as she reached for her backpack. Let me take that for you. Hi, Grandpa, Danielle said. She followed him to the kitchen where a banana and a glass of juice waited. School was okay. Computer class started today. That's fun. Best of all, no homework. But that Derek Wally makes me... Whoa, Grandpa said. Finish chewing the banana first and then tell me all about this Derek person. Danielle chewed and swallowed. This boy Derek is being a pain. He's mad at me or something. But I got him back and tomorrow, well... We'll see what happens tomorrow. Grandpa raised one eyebrow. Maybe it will be forgotten by tomorrow. Danielle frowned. Maybe. Come back tomorrow and see what Danielle did. Bye for now.